Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, today is Tuesday, September the 1st. It's 5.30 p.m. And I came across, must have come in my email. I had this pulled up last night, and I said, well, I'll listen tomorrow. There's several podcasts, and I was at the bottom. I was most interested in this one because it had to do with mycoplasma. See, I had got, I told you before, if some of you remember, that I got information from my old friend that also has ME. Her uncle was in the CIA, and after he retired, and the information was declassified. He gave her this information on how to, a doctor and a doctor of research that got brought over through Operation Paperclip were put together at Fort Dietrich. And together they invented the mycoplasma fermentans. Now she is just calling it, I got a hair that's trying to get in my mouth. I had to pull it up because it was just all in my face. Anyway, she's just calling it mycoplasma. And I've heard others just call it mycoplasma. And she's talking about how to cure it with hydrogen peroxide IV. Well, the doctor that diagnosed me with ME and fibromyalgia, which the Lord led me to, I got one dose, the half dose of the IV and then Tommy, my, my ex-husband, 9-11 happened. This was all around 9-11, 2001. The Twin Towers came down and all their contracts at work stopped. They were pulled. So all his overtime went away. So I had to quit going. We couldn't afford $80 for a dose of hydrogen peroxide, IV. Now, had I gotten to go two more times, $80 a piece, I might be well right now. God is in everything, and there is a purpose, and there is a reason. But anyway, that's how come this caught my eye. Well, I've been listening to it, and it's not very long. This particular podcast is 14 minutes and 53 seconds. And I want to play for you just the last portion of this. And I will leave links on, it's about something else that she wanted to tack on because she learned of it. And there is a article, I mean a link, that you can go to. It's a PDF if you can read it. I knew this. In my spirit, I knew this was the truth. Take a listen to what uh, Linda Emanuel is saying. Whoops, let's see. Heart disease causing organisms to activate. But don't be fooled about this word called dis. Ease, that your mind is diseased. Yes, your body, when your mind uh, goes into stress or trauma, the body really becomes acidic. And yes, organisms that are caused cause cancer and disease can activate. So, you know, um, don't be fooled by this disease thing. Oh, that just irritates me when people say that cancer and disease are cells that are diseased. It's baloney. I mean, trust me. Uh, the government wouldn't have invested millions and billions of dollars developing these bioweapons. And um, on one of my podcasts coming up, I am going to talk about the difference between a virus and mycoplasma. There is a difference. And um, this is all about educating you, about telling the truth, coming out with the truth, giving you solutions to get yourself well, how to protect yourself from cancer and disease causing organisms, especially mycoplasma. And this one really zeroed in on hydrogen peroxide IVs. And you could probably... Uh, it's probably easier to find a doctor who gives a hydrogen peroxide IV. 
and if you're um, if you're a doctor or a medical practitioner and you want the formula or you want to contact Dr. Taylor how to do the formula, he makes his own H H2O2, the hydrogen peroxide. I'll put you into contact with him, but if you're on the dark side, I will know it. The spirit will tell me that you are of the dark, and I will not answer your email. So again, um, it's all about educating yourself, the truth. Um, like I said, many, many people are, I, I'm expecting it. It's, it's a given with everybody wearing these masks. I wanted to say there, I hope she meant the Holy Spirit. Everybody traumatized. Everybody stressed out. Losing jobs. Can't pay the rent. Food shortages. These riots that are going on. Um, I'm, if I could figure out how to stop my subscription to Amazon. I was so upset. I knew they were part of the deep state, but they were they really emphasizing Black Lives Matter. And I'm not a racist. I believe we're all one. It doesn't matter about the color of your skin. But they're, they're really igniting people to protest and riot. And, you know, order out of chaos. It's all that boils down to. And Amazon is really promoting violence uh, through their banner on their homepage. And it, it's just really upsetting me that they're doing this. But, you know, it doesn't surprise me because the guy that owns Amazon, I think his name's Bezo, he's part of the deep state just like Gates. He's as guilty as Gates. So, uh, you know, just keep your head about you. Keep searching for the truth. Search the Jesuits. You know, I gave you a link on the last podcast about some free books about the Jesuits. Learn about, learn about, if you can understand the Jesuits and how they think, you, you, you won't be surprised. I mean, you know, you, you've got to search for the truth. You've got to discover the truth for yourself and research it. And I also have, I'm, I'm going to post another link if I can find it. A guy wrote a really great article exposing the George Floyd, um, fakery or the false flag and he went back into all the people who were part of this uh, staged event and he proved that these people weren't Minnesotans Minnesotans has how you say it they didn't they weren't from Minneapolis they were from out of town they they were it was all staged and I'm gonna try to put his link the link for this article in the description of this podcast so you it's it's a pretty uh deep comprehensive uh article but if you can get through it you know skim through it on the the most important details and you'll be enlightened as to who the people really were in this staged Mm -hmm. event you know um and god bless you for listening and putting up with my rate rantings but i just had to come out with an uh about george floyd but also about h202 uh it's more accessible from an alternative doctor who's more willing and you won't go through the herxheimer like you would with a mild silver protein iv and uh so all i ask is that you be aware prepare and be safe from mycoplasma and the new world order and until next time good night and god bless Okay, that was quite a bit for just a few minutes, huh? So, she's got an article. Like I said, it's a PDF, and I'll put it in the description box if you're interested. I knew, I knew, I knew in my heart that was a staged event. Because of the way he cried out, I want my mother. I mean, how? Really? I was like, really? Uh, of all the things you'd say, a grown man like that, that's a criminal type, is going to cr- give me a break. He's going to be doing some cussing. Get your blankety blankety knee off my M and F and neck, and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm going to be crying. I want my mother. Seriously, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And now here's someone that's got some information to prove it. And oh, that's and you saw my video, I hope, of yesterday about three women witches behind BLM. Oh, why? The, if you ask me, the black community ought to rise up against those three women and against this 
staged event and say, stop using us to do your dirty work. They want the New World Order, the elite, the George Soros's, the Bill Gates, Dr. Fauci, and all of them want you to be the causers of chaos so that they can get order out of chaos. And I hope you will share this video and let people know this is not, this is not, how do I want to word this? Okay. Okay, earlier I watched a video about, uh, Ken is it Kenosha, where another killing just happened? And they talked about another one that happened in 2004, except it was a white man that got shot. Now, who was protesting in the streets for him? See, they, they want the black community to be like the fall guy, like it's your fault that all this is going on, and you're just trying to get justice for what you believe is black people being killed needlessly. And there have been some. But there's also been white people killed needlessly. You just don't hear about it. So I'm glad this woman brought that up. And that I can help expose it. If this video does not stay up, it will be on Brideon. I will keep it on my best desktop. And if it goes down, it will go up on Brideon.com. Same name, Jeannie Hardesty. Alright, I'm going to end it at that. God bless everybody. I pray for everybody. And let us all pray. That we may escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and soon come and groom. Luke 21, 36. And yes, I added some. But that's who the Son of Man is. All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.